My favorite part. Hey, what's up? Hey, Grace, not much. What are you doing? No, I'm just chilling in my room. Do you want to go to homecoming with the group? Homecoming? I'm probably not going. I don't really have a date or anything. I mean, I would go with my friends and everything, but I don't know if I'm going to go to homecoming this year. I mean, I've been to it like the last few years, but whatever. Just because you don't have a date, you should still go. Ugh, hold on, I gotta go. Someone just texted me. Okay, bye. <laughs> Here's a little disclaimer for all you lovely people out there. You do not need to go to homecoming with a date. You can go with your friends, you can go by yourself, you can bring your dog. I don't think dogs are allowed though, but if they were, I would bring my dog. Just putting that out there, you do not need anyone to go to homecoming. You can go by your little old self, or go hang with your friends, or even if you had a date, go with your date. Just make homecoming fun. You guys got this. At this point, Grace was so excited that she got invited to homecoming, but then she realized she has nothing to wear, she doesn't know what to do with her hair, and she doesn't know what to do with her makeup. But no need to worry, I got you. I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. I got this. Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna sit back down, oh my gosh. Here is a little thing, just to make the video a little bit shorter, I'm to be putting all the products I use during this video in the description box down below. So if you want to know any of the makeup products I'm using, just go ahead and go look in the description down below. One more thing, I am trying to make this a little bit more affordable for everyone, so this is going to be a lot of drugstore products with a little bit of high end, but just give and take what you want, and yeah. So as always, starting off, you need a good base, especially if you're going to homecoming. So I'm going to be putting on a primer. I'm actually going to be putting on two. So this one's more of a sticky consistency. So I put that all around my T-zone. It kind of keeps the oil under control. And then I go in with this more shimmery primer. And I just put it in the highlighting spots because I want those spots to be like the best and the brightest and the most beautiful. So I just go ahead and put that on all my highlighting areas, like I just said. And especially on my eyes, I put both my primers on my eyes just to get them ready for the eyeshadows. So now I'm going to go in and dot my face with a whole bunch of foundation. This foundation looks a little bit dark on camera, as you will see when I start to blend it out. It doesn't look so dark when I'm applying it right now, but like, look now. It looks a little dark. But that's okay because we have concealer that will lighten it up once we are done blending this out. So that's a little trick. If you're foundation is a little bit darker than your normal skin tone, it's okay. Just get a lighter concealer and just highlight your areas. You will be fine. See? So we're going to apply a ton of la la la. I was about to say highlighter. That's not highlighter. Concealer. And put that under your eyes, on your nose, on your forehead, on your chin, wherever. I put some also under my cheekbone to kind of carve out my contour when we get to there. But once you're done putting a ton of concealer, put a ton more. Because, girl, concealer is really good. I love concealer. It's amazing. It's definitely one of my favorite things in the makeup industry. So as per usual, just blend it out because, you know, homegirl's not going to go to homecoming looking like an Indian with all that concealer on her face. But if you want to do that, go for it. But then I'm going to go ahead and set the concealer and a little bit of the foundation with a powder because you're gonna be dancing you're probably gonna be sweaty you do not want your makeup to move and it's not cute when you have creases under your eyes it's just it's just not a look unless you're into that then go for it you do you but for me that's not a look so next we are about to get into the eyeshadows i'm using this color in the morphe 350 palette matte to kind of use it as my transition shade wow i can't speak today then I'm going to go in with this darker orange and kind of put that in my crease and blend it in a little bit. And then I'm going with the color above that and putting that in my actual crease, like making that the star of the show almost. Well, not the star of the show, but you guys know what I mean. Then I'm going to get a darker color and deepen up that crease a little bit more because it kind of looks like our eyelids are just 100% flat and have no crease and that's not a cute look. 
then I'm taking this star of the show. This is like a really nice bronzy, metallic -y color, and I'm putting that all over the lid and just spreading it out. And honestly, when I put this on, it was amazing, and I just decided to put it on my lower lash line. Then I went in with the darker color and put that more on my crease because you can't have enough in your crease. You honestly can't. And just blended that out. Then went back in with that dark orange and put that under my lash line again because why not? Then I went ahead and carved everything out with my beauty blender and kind of made everything a lot cleaner, um, made it sharper, you know, the deal. Then I went in with this little pinkish shimmery color to kind of highlight my lid and just blended that in a little bit to make sure that it all blended together. It wasn't so harsh. Then I went in with this pearly color and put it in my inner corners. Wow, that was a hard thing to say. But I just went ahead and put that on the inner corners of my eyes and it really brightened up the whole look. Then, you know, eyebrows, whatever. We're just going to skip through this. You can see me doing some of my eyebrows, but next clip I'll have my eyebrows pretty much done. So now I decided to carve out my eyebrows because it is homecoming and I do want to put a little bit more effort into my look. So I just went in with that concealer. I'm telling you, concealer is like a thing. And just carved out my eyebrows. I, my eyebrows are honestly my pride and joy. I love my eyebrows, so I gotta take a little bit more effort. And then we're going back in with that pearly color that we used on the inner corners and putting that on our brow bone to kind of highlight it. So now I'm about to do lashes, so the next clip I will have my lashes on. Wow, look, lashes and the lash glue wasn't dry, but I didn't care. So I put on a whole bunch of like lip colors and I couldn't find the right one to match this so I had like three on by the time I put this lip color on but then I decided to just go in with an eyeshadow you ready an orangey eyeshadow I didn't know how this is gonna look but then I put it on and I was like oh my gosh I love this this is a look I'm gonna start wearing this lip all the time because look at that that's me realizing that I love this lip so I just put it on of a matte shade and it was so beautiful. I thought it matched the eyes really nicely and it didn't look too intense. It was just a really nice neutral orangey brownish pink color. Oh, it was to die for. And then I decided to go in with the metallic version of this and put that on the middle of my lips. And I thought, this is my lip. This is my lip now and expect to be seeing it a lot. Then I went in with a cream highlighter and this is a creamed powder so it will get powdery. But I just did that and then went over it with another powder highlighter because if you guys know me, highlighters are my things. Put that on my cupid's bow, my nose, my, um, what is it called, cheekbones. And then I went ahead and contoured slash bronzed up my whole face because your girl was looking a little white after this highlight and all the concealer. So we had to bronze up a little bit. And that was the makeup look. I love it so much. It's so pretty and it's great. Now on to the hair. Let's do this. Wow, I said hair really weird. Okay, but I'm going to be parting my hair as normal as I normally would. I'm actually going to be making it really curly for homecoming. So what I'm going to do is usually I'll go bed like this or you can either make your hair really wet and then dry it if you want to do it kind of quicker. But I'm grabbing two parts and French twisting it. So putting a piece below, grabbing another piece, twisting it again. Grabbing the same piece closest to my face, twisting it, grabbing another piece close to my face, twisting it, and basically just keep doing that. Never grab from the back, so where your hand is closest to the back of your head, never grab from that side. Always grab closest to your face and only grab on that side. As you can see, there's only little twists on the front of my head, not the back. So it should kind of look like that. And hopefully I'm explaining this right. There's probably a ton of videos online to figure out how to do this, but I hope I can kind of teach you. And when you get to this part, I have like one like section left. I'm just going to start braiding it. So I'm going to Dutch braid it. That's basically where you braid it backwards. So just braiding it because if you keep twisting it, then it's just going to like unravel. Then I'll just tie it off with a little elastic and I honestly could see someone wearing this as their hairstyle for homecoming. I think that'd be so cool. 
Now once they are finished, whether you slept on them, whether you wet them and hair dry them, um, we are going to take them out and they should look a little something like this with a whole bunch of curls. Obviously mine don't look like that because I just filmed this video and showed you guys, but I slept on it the night before, so this is kind of like the after effect of it. It really holds well. But you can either like brush them out, I was showing you guys right there, like very casually. Or you can like curl some more pieces, make it a little more curly, which I had to do because mine was falling down. Like I said, I slept on it the night before, I had it on it all day. And yeah, you guys can kind of just work with it and whatnot, but that's pretty much it for the hair. Well, that was it for my hair and makeup homecoming video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun making this. I am not going to my own school's homecoming this year. I am going to my best friend's homecoming because she invited me, so I'm really excited. And I'm not going to show you guys my dress yet, but if you want to see it, it will probably be on either Koala, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. So just go ahead and follow me on there, a little self-promo, if you want to see my dress next week. I believe it's next week. I think homecoming next week. I don't know. But, yes, I will probably be posting a ton of photos on there. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you aren't already. Then just go down below and click that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. But that's it for this week's video. I will definitely see you guys next Saturday for another video. I love you guys so much. And, yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs>